welcome back. So this is another installment in my friend cosplay series work log type of videos and this one I'm just going to explain to you how I made my bodysuit in the little cardigan. It's not that complicated at all so it should be pretty easy to follow and replicate on your own and yeah. Alright, so here is what the finished product looks like as far as my bodysuit goes. This is um, a piece I'm definitely going to be remaking because she has a lot of detail on her bodysuit, but for the time frame and my kind of like skill set, this is what I came up with for starters. So how I got the pattern for my bodysuit is I essentially just used one that I already owned and that fit me and I did a mock version of this first on scrap pieces of fabric that I had. Um, I can't exactly tell you what kind of fabric that I used for the front part of it but the back part because I didn't have enough of this black fabric the back part I just used my um, four-way stretch I believe it's jersey spandex that I'm using for my classic Harley Quinn. So I had enough of that left over to make the back part so the back part kind of stretches and that's how I put it on. Um, my other bodysuit is actually very similar in that where the back part is more of the stretchier part and it makes it easier just to kind of slide on and off. Um, it also has clips, um, well I didn't do clips on the bottom. I was debating if I wanted the bottom to detach or not. That would make it easy to go to the bathroom but I was just like I won't use the bathroom in my cosplay because screw it. There's no clips or anything but if you guys do want to add that to make the bottom detachable to make it easier to go to the bathroom then totally go for it. The middle part is like a chiffon fabric that I found at Hobby Lobby and I cut the ends as it's shown in the photo and then I burned the edges that way they didn't um, fray or anything like that. This part kind of came loose up top which I'm just noticing right now. For the cutout of the bodysuit I simply put the finished product on and then I traced where I wanted it to be cut out with some fabric chalk that I had and I just kind of outlined where I wanted it and then cut it from there. I then hemmed the edges, I don't know if you guys can tell but I just went ahead and hemmed the edges just to make it more finished and clean looking and that's pretty much the basis of it. I also added little loops right here and also on the back part of the um, or the inside of the back piece for bra straps because I wore clear bra straps to help hold up the bodysuit all together which is a great thing and you should do that way you don't have to worry about pulling up your bodysuit constantly just some clear bra straps or you can do black ones because they won't actually be seen when you put the cardigan on so I was just like whatever and then as far as the armor pieces go she has a few pieces on her bodysuit and she actually has this kind of pleated part on the sides hers are a bit more exaggerated and just for the time being, I went ahead and I just made my own pleats and I sewed them on right here. They're not as exaggerated as I wanted them to be, but they worked and um, they did their part for the outfit. So I have the pleats on either side, which were pretty easy and basic to make. I think I used the, blocks, the box pleat method. And then she also has these side panels on her... Um, and the photos and everything she kind of has this side paneling which looks more kind of like leatherish material it looks like it matches the bodysuit but I went ahead and I made mine out of craft foam and then to attach it and detach it I just did velcro so I just used two layers of craft foam for the basic shape and then this is all craft foam as well so just the thinnest one is what I used and then I primed it with a wood glue and water mixture then with Mod Podge and then I painted it with the silver and black mixture that I did for all of my other armor pieces. This is a part I plan on redoing for her armor. I'm looking for more of a pleather-like material. Um, I'm not too sure I'm going to do the design on the pleather, but I think it'll just look a lot better and I'll sew it down. That way I don't have to worry about these falling off because they did at the convention. In the last part, the back, um, I actually added her tail on here, which I'll probably do the same thing for a tail that I did with this for my new bodysuit. And um, this is made out of craft foam as well, Velcro, so I can just kind of pull it on and off. I used the um, 
eight millimeter thick craft foam for it. Um, here's the strip of Velcro that is on the back, and like I said, I used the eight millimeter piece of craft foam, and then the rest are just the thinner pieces of craft foam, painted it, and attached it onto the booty. And that's all there really is to it. This was the easiest part of the cosplay. And then for the cardigan, I simply just took a old cardigan that I found. It was like large and I cut it up and re-styled it to my fitting. This is definitely something I'm going to be remaking because I just lazily put this together haphazardly. Um kind of just like the basic shape here I literally took red fabric and I sewed it on to this and then I cut out the little triangle shape so it's just like really ratchet and ghetto but it worked for uh, Phoenix Comic Con but definitely something that I'm going to be redoing and remastering so I will have those videos up as I redo my friend cosplay for you guys that way you guys can see the making and process of the videos and that's all there is to it so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments down below don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter like my Facebook page because I will definitely have a ton of cosplay updates on there and also on my snapchat which I just got today because I'm an old lady and I was like I don't need snapchat but I finally got one so if you guys want to follow me on there that would be awesome and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.